Hi, it's Paul here again. And what have we got for you now? Di Tommaso Pantera, a supercar in its own right. Built by an Argentinian, made in Italy, and sent to America. So very cosmopolitan to say the least. But as you can see, this looks very similar to the Ferraris and the Lamborghinis of its age. But of course, this had a Ford engine in it. So much, much easier to maintain. And you haven't got any of those real horrendous bills you know, for changing cam belts or et cetera, et cetera. It's a Ford engine, same as that goes with the Mustangs. 351, very powerful and very, very good car. So have, have a look at this. It is absolutely stunning in this beautiful color of red. It was originally white when it was new, but it, it has been um, restored and put into this beautiful red color, um, which is very much of an Italian racing scheme. But uh, beautifully done. It's all been restored. The interior has been restored. The wheels are new. The whole thing's been done extremely well and um, it's only come up for sale, unfortunately, due to a gentleman not being able to drive it anymore due to an accident. So it, it, it wasn't one that was going to be for sale. Um, it was going to be kept for the next 10, 20 years. So he's, gone, it, he's done a great deal of work on the interior and the exterior. He had the engine rebuilt by one of the chairmen for the Di Tomasio Club. And as I can show you here, he's done a beautiful job of it. It really has. I mean, look at that. That is absolutely stunning. I don't think you'd find many that look in this sort of condition. Beautifully done by the chairman of the Di Tomasio Club. You can still see there's a little bit of signs that show Argentina. You can see on these drive shafts here, we have the Argentinian uh, flag just in here, if you can see it. That's showing his, uh, his loyalty to Argentina. But it was built in, I believe, Verona, Italy. And then the Ford main dealers, they um, had them and the Lincoln dealers in, in their showrooms because it was Ford based. So in the time, these would sat, have sat next to the Mustangs of their day, Lincolns of their day in the showroom. So a, a large percentage of them were sold in America. There was obviously some sold right hand drive in the UK and obviously a few in, in continental Europe as well. But this one was an American car when it started. So the condition of it is really good. I mean, you can have a quick look in the uh, in the bonnet as well to see how it's been finished off in there because he hasn't he hasn't skimped on that either and it, it is rather nice as you can see it's all been carpeted correctly all been done so throughout the car gearbox engine running gear has all been restored and been restored beautifully on this particular car the gentleman who owned it was six foot four ex rugby player and as a result um, he had um, the floor lowered on this side um, by the Mark Specialist, just to give that little bit more of accessibility for guys who are slightly taller. I'm six foot two and I can jump into this and it's one of the first supercars I've ever driven that I actually feel really comfortable in and I'm not sort of going down the road with my head tilted to one side. So if you're a bigger guy, this is really is a car that's got it all done and all ready for you. So if you want a supercar in its own right, this is it and fabulous condition. Just a great car to love and own. And as an investment opportunity, it's got to be something that's going in the right direction. So give us a call, come down, have a good look at it. You'll, you'll see as good as it is and uh, possibly you'll end up buying it. We have a great deal of paperwork with this car also showing you know, what's been spent on it over the course of its history, as you can see here. And what is interesting, it also has a Marty report, which basically um, Marty Auto Works are in America and they kept all the build schedules and everything else for these cars. And this happens to have it. So you can see here built 1973 and uh, Pantera model 73 calendar year October. And it was sold into Jacksonville, which is Florida for the user, user that don't know that. That's a district sales office. So it spent some time in Florida before it came over here. But this sort of just tells you like a birth certificate of what that car is because it was Ford engine and was sold through those um, showrooms. We're lucky enough to have that. And we have got quite a bit of history on this car. So it is, uh, it's got the history, it not only looks good, but it, they spent the money on it. Inside this car is absolutely beautiful. It's obviously been restored and the whole car's been restored in its time. And the leather in here is absolutely gorgeous. You just smell the leather when you, when you jump into it. I mean, I love this gate, this gear change here. It's very Ferrari-esque. And for those of you guys who have driven Ferraris, that gate change is absolutely beautiful. You really do feel you're in something special. Again, the Argentinian flag on top of the gear knob, but also the dash has all been done in wood and the wood is all beautiful. You know, there's no peeling, there's no lack of peeling or anything like that. It really is top, top quality, this car. The leather on the doors, all in good condition. And again, 
the, um, the wood is all, all in really great shape. Carpets are lovely, headlining's perfect. Someone has spent a great deal of money to get this car looking like this. It really is superb. And remember, we do have the other seat for the car, the original seat. This is just a bigger seat for, for someone like ourselves to get in. But absolutely beautiful and uh, a real great investment piece because they don't come up that often. And, and, and normally, I doubt if they're to this condition and this quality. So if you're looking for an investment piece, this has got a great opportunity to be in a really good one of those. But a great car to drive. Let's start her up and see what it sounds like. As you can see, I can sit in here quite comfortably. The noise is not too bad for the engine. I mean, you can make it as raucous as you like, these 351s. I mean, this has got a beautiful note to it when you're going down the motorway. So it's not, you can take it for a drive and enjoy yourself. If you're going for a long distance, do a bit of touring. It's, it, it doesn't hurt you to hit your rear drums too much, but really is a fabulous car. The really gears feel superb on it as well, but just really nice. I can sit here comfortably and I could take this for a long drive. So it's something a bit special. And if you're looking for that sort of specialist car, then maybe it's worth coming down, having a look and um, taking it out for a run and see you get on. Hope to see you soon.